would also have to testify. If there's some sort of deal cut, would you be willing to do so? It has nothing to do. They should be testifying because they have been asked to testify by Congress. It isn't a deal. It's about a system of checks and balances. Can we not have any more questions about impeachment? Can we not have any more questions about impeachment, Bill <laughs> O'Reilly? It was the day that she said we're putting impeachment uh, articles together. Can we not have any more questions about impeachment? Bill, are you there still? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, I can. Well, what are your All thoughts right. there? Yeah, do you get a sense of entitlement uh, from uh, Mrs. Pelosi? Oh, do you yeah. Get a sense that maybe that she's not really a regular person. If you look at her background, very wealthy, uh, parent, father in politics, uh, Maryland raised, and whips out to the most liberal district in the country, runs around. She doesn't want to be asked any difficult questions. She just wants to spout propaganda. I said before the break that she is a fanatic. A fanatic is a person who is incapable of evaluating an opposing point of view, not agreeing, but even evaluating, seeing, well, how does the Republican uh, Party think, or why do they want certain things? Forget it. Forget it. It's she's a far-left person. She has a vision, and that's it. And if you don't have the vision, she's going to try to hurt you. Well, she she was incredible. They asked her about, do you hate Donald Trump? And she she went off and said, you know, how dare you? Don't you ever question me like that again? And I thought, yeah, I thought to myself, gee, wouldn't it be nice if I could have said that after the 10,000th question about how much I hate people? I mean, it's insane. My follow up, if I had been there, my follow up would have been after she said that. If I had been Rosen, I would have said, you know, you sound a lot like Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that have been yeah. interesting? Yeah, it would have been. It would but have been. she does. Okay. And she doesn't want opposing points of view. So um, let me take you one more place on the uh, impeachment. Yeah. Yesterday, I was with an audience of about... 40, 50 people here in the studios. And I asked them, uh, what do you think? Are we at least going to get a fair trial in the Senate and actually find out if Donald Trump is guilty or innocent in a fair way in the Senate? Not a single hand went up. Not one. When I, right. and, and I expected, you know, are we actually going to find out what happened you know, with this this whole impeachment trial and who's involved and all of that, I expected there to be few hands. But when I asked, are we actually going to find out what's true? No one raised their hands on the simple thing of what was the, the you know, phone call and the actual charges of the articles of impeachment. Are there are there any bases to that? They didn't even think that they would get a fair trial in the Senate. What do you well, think is going to happen? And they're smart because the Republican senators want to embarrass the Democratic Party. So they're not going to they're not looking for the truth. Um, and from my perspective, and I've studied this pretty hard, Donald Trump was uh, indiscreet in how he approached uh, Ukraine. But is that a shock to anybody? Nope. OK. That's what he is. That's what he does. He's a stream of consciousness speaker. He reacts emotionally. He felt that there was corruption in the Ukraine on a number of different fronts, including Joe Biden. And he asked the president to investigate it. That's it. Okay. Now, the Republican Party, they don't want they've said that time and time again. What they want to do uh, is bring in Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and Schiff and embarrass the hell out of them. Yeah, but I think bringing... I, I honestly think we have spent four years now on impeachment. We have spent millions of dollars on investigation. 
and we found out that Donald Trump really didn't do anything in collusion with Russia. We found out something we already know, that Russia is trying to infiltrate our country and disturb our elections. They don't care who the winner is, quite honestly. Right. They just are trying to pit us against each other. But they haven't spent any time on looking really into that. Then... As soon as he makes this phone call, they rush to impeachment. Somebody right. has to be held responsible for the uh, what I think is an abuse of the American pocketbook, if not uh, abuse of power. Well, that's never going to happen. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Everybody is looking for um, an avenue to, to victory next November. And, you know, it's not just the president. It hurts us. Uh, the Republicans country. got to take back the House. Yeah. I mean, if they can control the House and the Senate and Trump wins. But the isn't the are, but isn't the best way done. isn't the best way to do that, to show that through a fair process, to yeah. show that uh, the that Adam Schiff was cooking the books and but the and the whistleblower will never acknowledge that will never acknowledge it in a million years, no matter what. Proof comes to the fore. Yeah. Monday's a big day with the Horowitz report. I was just going to ask you about that. It yeah, comes but, out. But what already, do you already? Already, the Washington Post taking the leads. Ah, it's nothing. Uh, no big deal. No, 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 no. They don't have anything. So that's what you're going to get. So well, no matter what, what they did in the Senate, the press would spin it like, ah, no, come on, it's no big, no big deal. But you know, look. So wait, I wait, think, wait, wait. What is yeah, going to yeah. what is going to happen with the Horowitz report? Do you have any inkling on I what we're going to find? Somebody in the Justice Department. And, but I hate to use anonymous sources. You know that. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't tell your audience that this is true. But this is what the person said to me. Out of 10, 10 being the most helpful to the Trump administration. And zero, being, report, and zero report, being just neutral or helpful no, to zero the, being hurtful. Okay. 10 helpful, zero hurtful. This is an 8. It's an 8 out of 10 that it will help Trump. Now, that's what the guy said to me, and I don't know if it's true. I had no idea if he's spinning. He's obviously in the administration, so what would that for what it's worth. What would those things be that are in that well, report? If Horowitz, who is not Elliot Ness, all right, mm -hmm. he's not a crusader for justice, mm -hmm. even though he's the inspector general of the Justice Department. He is mm -hmm. a bureaucrat, CYA, village people guy. Okay. If he says, I'm referring to Durham, who is the criminal investigator, these names that he might want to consider indicting, home run for Trump, impeachment goes off the rails, the American people are in an uproar, cable news ratings go through the roof. If that is the case, if he's mealy-mouthed, and says, well, one guy really abuses power, but the others really didn't, and I don't know, I can't really tell, then it's, it's a nothing. nothing. It's a nothing. Right. So that'll be out on Monday, and we'll have plenty to talk about next week on it. Um, but the overarch here is this. The, nothing really matters except the election next November, because the American people have a stark decision to make. Stark, do you want an imperfect man, Donald Trump, and, and imperfect is a charitable word. If you read the United States of Trump, I lay the man out for you, okay? You want an imperfect man who's actually helping the country, his policies are helping the country, and they are, okay? Or do you want a progressive left that's going to change every fundamental thing that we have, everything? What do you want? And that's the vote. And it's not just for president, as I said. It's the House, the Senate, because whoever gets power, if the Republican Party gets power in the, both houses and the presidency next November, the far-left progressive movement is dead, finished in the history of this country, at least for the foreseeable future. If the opposite happens, we enter into an age of anarchy, where all of our traditions are upended, where everything changes, where the government becomes so powerful that the state and the local officials have nothing to say. Everything will be run out of Washington from a progressive perspective. That is what Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, 
all of these people want. They want more power to tell you what to do and how to live. On every issue, this is what is at stake. Why do you say that the progressive era, if you will, or the progressive movement towards that will be gone for the foreseeable future? Because Look Trump, how- Trump and McCarthy and Graham will come in with a vengeance, a vengeance, and they will attack every progressive thing or, or issue and destroy it. What and makes you say that? Because they're mad, particularly the president. Now, I'm going to tell your audience something that I haven't really made public, but I had dinner with Trump last week in the residence with him. With Kim? Now, with him. Oh, okay. I thought of no, Kim Jong-il. You should have let him. He was that. invited, but yeah. he couldn't make it. <laughs> okay. Right? All right. Like yeah, that. all right. Okay. All right. So, and, and I thought Trump was going to be a little on edge. He was not. And it was mm-hmm. like old times, because I've known him for 30 years and socialized with him many times. But he's angry. And when, I, I don't blame him. Um, because I'm angry at what happened to me and, and all of this I, I'm, I'm PC too. crap, mm-hmm. you know? And I sure, I'm sure you're angry. Mm-hmm. And when Trump, with no restraints, remember, this is a man with no restraints, okay? That gets him in trouble all the time. If he gets control of Congress for those four years, you don't want to be a progressive. And he'll go into California. That's where he's going to make his example. That's why I asked him that question about the homelessness in the radio interview. He's going to go into California, and that state is going to be in big trouble as far as federal funding and everything else. So it's, a, it's an amazing election coming up here. Um, and I don't, again, don't think people understand uh, the weight of it. So that's why I want them to all go see you in Salt Lake City on tomorrow. For the, are you going to sing? You know, I'm, not, I'm only doing Christmas stuff. Yeah, oh, it's lots of singing. A lot lots of, of singing? Yeah, me and, and the piano. You've never heard, yeah. Beck is like one of the Irish tenors. Yeah, I mean, yeah, know, yeah. He's so good. Yeah, um, well, you could hear that in my voice that I'd be a And I want to throw a couple of plugs, if you, if you will. Yeah. Uh, United States of Trump, great stocking stuff for gift. I'll yeah. sign them on BillOReilly.com. As you mentioned at the top, we have a great Christmas store, saving people lots of money. And uh, I want to, I'm going to be talking with you for the next few weeks, but I yeah. want you to have a nice season because all of us oh, in, the, in this world, um, you know, it, it's upsetting. What's happening in America is upsetting. I don't want us to be a tribal culture. I will tell you, if this continues down this road, I don't think there's enough Valium in the entire on the entire planet yeah. to keep it, people it, calm. It's it's crazy what is happening.